Hey Trinity Park, it's day nine of our Advent readings. It's December the 9th, and it's good to see all of you today. I'm here giving you the gospel from Luke uh, today, and Mary's reaction to the promise of Gabriel that she would become the mother of Jesus. And I'm hoping to encourage you in the gospel so that you can then take the gospel and encourage those around you, particularly if you have children. I pray you can pour this out into their lives. So Gabriel comes, tells Mary she's going to give birth to a son who's going to become the king of kings, whose kingdom will have no end. And Mary receives the good news. She receives the word of the Lord. She says, how can this be? Not out of disbelief, but just wondering, literally, how can this be? And Gabriel confirms her the Holy Spirit is going to give her this child in her womb. And this is going to change her life. It's going to change the trajectory of her life forever to receive this news from the Lord. But Mary says in verse 38, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. What an example of faith for us that the Lord would bring about what he's going to bring into our lives. And it's good news. It's the good news of the gospel. But that good news of the gospel is going to radically change the way that we live our lives. And so could we say to the Lord, behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word, Lord. I think that's the attitude we need to have right now in the midst of our lives. It's the attitude we always need to have, but particularly right now. And if we could give that to our children, that belief that no matter what is going on, the Lord is good and the Lord does good and he's bringing good news into our lives even right now. Can we receive that good news? From the Lord. Also, then, what does Mary do? Another element of her response is she doesn't just respond with faith. She then goes to visit Elizabeth. She finds community in the midst of this moment of her life. And one real challenge for us right now in 2020 is community. Because of COVID, we are quite separated oftentimes. So my encouragement to you, though, would be continue to find community. Continue to experience the gospel in community. Have one-on-one -on -one conversations. Attend your community group. Draw near to other people who can encourage you in the Lord. Just like Mary needed Elizabeth, we need each other as we experience the gospel. I hope your kids, too, can find a way to be around other kids in the church during this time and just enjoy fellowship together.